the universe around us, unimaginable distances of time and space. And yet somewhere out there, light years beyond the nearest star to Earth, at this very instant, radio voices are rushing into space from broadcast years ago, just as this TV report is being beamed out in all directions at the speed of light. Light out, everybody. Yes, it's Sunday. Time for the Bill Harris Alice Fay Show. Presented by the Makers. Hey, kids, what time is it? This is a live special report from ABC Radio News. The program regularly scheduled at this time is being canceled, so we may bring you special coverage of Apollo 13. There is serious trouble with Apollo 13. As crude and unintentional as it may seem, it's our way of announcing to anyone who might be listening that there is a civilization here. Now, for the first time, the space agency is planning a gigantic effort to start listening for civilizations in outer space, listening for someone else's radio waves. For the moment, the plan is to coordinate existing Earth radio telescopes and start eavesdropping on the stars. It's called Project SETI, the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. The way we'll start is by building a receiver which is composed of a million separate channels, kind of like a million radio receivers all at one time listening to the sky. And that'll take us about two years to put together with an antenna out on the desert uh, in California, up at Goldstone uh, Dry Lake. And then we're going to embark upon a sky survey from this Goldstone antenna location. Now, the thing we want to accomplish, and it'll take about five years, is to survey the entire sky that can be seen from that location. That's about 80% of the, of the entire sky and to look over a very broad frequency range, a frequency range that is, is physically reasonable for transmitting signals in, that, uh, a range in which we could easily transmit signals over many, many light years. In the years to come, depending on the government's generosity, there are all sorts of ideas, like Project Cyclops, which would be a network of antennas on Earth, antennas on the far side of the moon in craters, huge disk antennas miles across in deep space, we're going to be listening rather than trying to talk to people. Because of the vast distances out there, it might take a thousand years to get an answer. Scientists assume that there are as many possible civilizations in our galaxy as sands on a beach. And chances are some of them are talking to each other, or even us. What are we here? The secret of living in peace with ourselves on Earth? A warning to shape up? Or just someone else's local broadcast stations giving time and temperatures and the hit parade from M93? Steve Newman, New Service 10 at the Ames Research Center, Mountain View.